Alright, today we're gonna build a computer. Um, yes. And you might hear random stuff in the background, because I'm... I don't care. It's gonna be, I guess, a budget build, because there's no graphics card. So, the CPU we're using is the Ryzen 5. 5600G has integrated graphics. That's why we're not using graphics card. There's Intel SSD. It's one terabyte. Um, it's M.2. The RAM is some Team T Force Vulcan Z 16 gigabytes at 3,600 megahertz. Two sticks of eight gigabyte each. The motherboard is. Um, an ASRock B550M Pro 4 and the power supply is Thermaltake Tough Power GX2 600 watts all right all right let's get started I'm gonna start with the motherboard and the CPU mm -hmm. manual for motherboard oh look a disk for the drivers that we're not going to use. Oh, there's a sticker in there too. Oh, cool. We could do stuff with stickers. That's amazing. IO shield. Uh, Santa cables, right? I, I think they are. Are they? I can't tell. Whatever. Screws. Just move all this stuff to the side for now. You know, you don't have to be completely silent if you don't want to be. Okay. Here's the motherboard and it's anti-static wrap. Let's take it out. Oh, there's some, like, uh, styrofoam kind of. On the back. It's hot in here, dude. It is. It's very hot in here. Upstairs. I already started recording here, so no, we can't. Dude, we made a mis- why did you pick this room? Because it has the table. Alright. No, we could have moved it upstairs. You told me I couldn't do that. <laughs> you moved the shit anyway. <laughs> well, I didn't move it upstairs. <laughs> yeah, but you moved it anyway. Which is not what oh, I wanted. It's a new motherboard, let's smell it. Hey, where's my tissue box ah, over there? That new motherboard smell, it smells great. It was like poison. Alright, let's- Seems like kind of just your standard motherboard. This amazing vortex out here. Okay. Let's take out the CPU. This is the CPU with integrated graphics. It has Vega 7, I think. It comes with a sticker too. Oh, I <laughs> love stickers. And this is the stock cooler it comes with. It is, what is it? I think it's called the Raft Stealth something, whatever. We're just gonna be using this, cause, you know, it's budget. All right. Started. Oh, look, it's the new CPU. Let's smell that. Ah, oh, that new CPU smell. Ah. Oh. Right, let's put it in. There's the socket, CPU socket. Just take this lever, move it up. Get the match up. Triangle. There's a triangle on this corner. We match it up with. Supposedly, one of them supposed to be labeled with. Uh, come on. Look closer at it. I think I see it, or not, I'm not sure, it's not that big of a deal because it only can go in one way anyways, but let's just try this way, okay, maybe not that way, huh, okay, maybe, 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 maybe it's, it's this way, oh yeah, okay, went in, it went in, CPU is installed, let's put the, Hover back in. Yes, the CPU's there. All right. Okay, let's move on to 
the ram. We're gonna put the ram in now. Yeah. Here we go. Huge. 16 gigabytes total. 8 gigabytes per stick. God damn it. Come out, Ram. Come out. Alright. I like how they look. There's a heat sink on them. Mm. It's 3600 megahertz. Put it in the RAM slots. Okay, this one and this one. Dude, it doesn't matter if you don't know, you can still like... You know, most of it is just putting shit in slots and connecting wires and shit. You have been doing this since you were two. Okay, put this... Th oh, that didn't line up correctly. This one in here. Okay. Make sure it clicks. And the RAM is installed. Uh, next part is uh, CPU cooler. How do I open this box? Here it is. This is the stock cooler that comes with it. Thermal paste is pre-applied. Yeah, so I am supposed to remove these brackets to install the CPU fan. At least for this one. At least for this one. Alright, let's go. Now this is where the handy dandy screwdriver comes in. Ah, okay. Swap. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's yeah. out right there. Put that there. U T. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you come and watch me put this thing together? Put one thing together. <laughs> you might learn something. Dude, what am I learning? Learning how how the how easy works. is this shit to damage? You don't have to touch anything if you don't want to, just watch me do it. Damn it, we used our real names, you fricked uh, everything No, up. wait, what? No, that doesn't matter. It means I have to beep it out. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, Dude, I do. it doesn't matter, it's the first name. I care. Back you down, all you do is stay at home. Then they'll track... That's, that makes it even worse though, that means it will track our home down, and that's that's even worse. No, because then you'll be in it. Are you a dumb dumb? Okay, so there's like a back plate. <laughs> um, am I supposed to remove that yet first? No, I don't think so. Hold on, let me put it back on. Damn it, line up. Okay, there we go. Yeah, zoom on a bit. Sure to line up where the screws go in. Same. Come on. Come on, damn it. Go in. Uh oh, some of the thermal piss rubbed off on the CPU. Yeah, it should be fine. The thermal piss. Thermal piss is the stuff that's in between the heat sink and the CPU to help transfer the heat from the CPU to heat sink. That's crazy. Um, then it goes out through the fan if you're using an air cooler. 
All right. We put it on. We just need to screw in all four sides, all four corners. We need to hit up EPMD. How easy is this stuff? The stuff is only easy to damage if like you you drop it or like you touch it where you're not supposed to touch it. Like anything that connects to the motherboard directly, you're not supposed to touch it. Like the pins on the back of the CPU, you're not supposed to touch it. The tabs on the bottom of the RAM that connect onto the slots on the motherboard, you're not supposed to touch that. make sure this CPU fan is installed I mean it can't be that uh, difficult like I'm literally just using a screwdriver you think it's a lot harder than it actually is <gasps> he gotta move before he dies okay. Now I just need to connect this cable to the CPU fan header on the motherboard, which if you look... Interesting. Okay, let's uh, zoom in. I don't drop this entire thing. The fan header is this, says CPU fan 1. That's where I go connect it. Hmm, it just kind of goes. There's like four holes in the connector, and there's four holes in the header. So we just line up the four holes, and then it should just go straight down. Yeah, there we go, it's in. All right, moving on. Okay, next part in the landing. Next part we're going to do is our storage. In this case, it's um. It's Intel 1 terabyte M.2 SSD. All right, let's open the box. Sweet. There we go. Here it is. Look at how small it is. Let's just take that out. Hello, game. Hello, game. It's lagging. Huh. Okay, this plastic is being a little bit... Come on, come on, plastic, you can do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you see? Oh, okay, here it is. Here's the SSD. Oh, yes, I'm not too SSD. So. Oh, that new um, SSD smell. Probably smells like ah. probably smells like poison. Well, I could barely smell it. But. Exactly, what are you talking about? All right. So, oh, let's see, let's go. 
poisonous mushrooms. It will hey, go can you do a video inside a here. I can't because I don't know how I would describe it but unless I draw something. <laughs> ah. Yeah, Wait, no. you would draw my life of it. It's a very sad, sad thing to do. Let's see. There's there's multiple M.2 slots, I think. The one we're going to be using is underneath here with the heat sink. So we're going to have to remove... We'll see. Not to remove it. There is a sink of heat. Oh no, the screw is a little bit too small. How are we gonna take it out? Okay, I must have a different size. Uh, <laughs> I would thumbs up that video. <laughs> well, there's a lot of stupid videos you would thumbs up. No, because the point of YouTube is stupid videos. Yeah, well, that's true. Exactly. Okay, a different screw this time. Wow. If it weren't for this, I could have just used a regular screwdriver the whole time. All right. Yes. Off. Oh, okay. So like there's something you have to peel off on the back of this before you put it back on. Otherwise it's not going to do its uh, heat transfer properly. So it's like a fruit. Yeah, sure, whatever. It's like a fruit. I don't know what you're talking about, but yes, it's a fruit. Because the fruit got the stickers you got to peel before you eat it or else you're going to get poisoned. Yeah, but the fruit's not going to overheat if you forget to take the sticker off. That doesn't make any it's sense. Gonna, it's going to overheat if you forget to eat it. Take, put it in. You scoop. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Camera's a little bit off. Hmm. Is this thing goes in there? All right, let's see. Shouldn't be that difficult. Just stare at it a little bit. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. One shot KO. Just slot it in like this. Okay. Then it goes in like that, and that's where the screw comes in, where you screw it down. I had to get uh, a one terabyte SSD because the old drive that I might be cloning from is also one terabyte. Otherwise, I could have gone a little bit cheaper. Wait, this... What are you cloning? I'm gonna clone the hard drive from that old computer, so it has all the same files wow. and stuff. Or at least that's, that's really good. That, or at least that's the idea. That's good. That's the idea. As long as Dell didn't screw us over by making it so you can't remove the panel, so you can't take out your old parts, it should be able to be possible. Why is it called Dell? Dell's the name of the company. Do that, you have Dell as well? No, Dell. Dell is the name of the company that made that computer. Yeah, but you have Dell as well. What do you mean, do I have Dell? No, I don't have a Dell computer because I built my own computer. I don't know. What? Oh. What are you trying to say? I don't even understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> you got knocked out. The enemy got knocked the hell out. Oh. A magnetized screwdriver would have been helpful at this point. Okay, so... Attack incoming, you know how I do. That's very cool. How are we going to do? Go down, go down. God damn it, it's not in the hole. Things are just not lining up correctly. Everything is. This 
fastest one in the hole yet? I think it is. Let's tighten this slightly just so it's close. Okay. Now let's make sure this screw goes in the right place. Oh wait. Stop sticking to it. See it? Let's drop down a little bit. And maybe we drop down a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Yep, okay, now this is the seems like Stable. Yep, there we go. Okay, now that everything that needs to be on the motherboard is pretty much on the motherboard, we're going to switch over to the case now. Okay, so this is the case we're going to be using for our build. God damn, it's so big. Uh, it barely shows up on camera, but that's okay. okay hold on, hold on, let me just... Oh, okay, you get a much better view now. Okay, it's the... Pantex Eclipse P300. It was it was a pretty okayish low price. Okay. Let's look at the front panel. Hands power button. These are two USB three ports. This is these are the audio jacks. This is for a microphone and this is for Headset, what is this? Is this a reset button? I don't know what this is for. This might... Huh. There's some sort of light, I mean, icon on it. So maybe there's some RGB thing going on? I don't know. Okay. So, back. Damn, you got one. There's a tempered glass side panel on this side. The back. It comes with one case fan installed, pre-installed in the back. Okay. And then this is the other side. Okay. It does have uh, a PSU shroud on the bottom. Power supply unit shroud. Okay. Now we're going to open it up and put our motherboard in and stuff. All right. We're going to screw both screws on this side panel and then we're going to carefully remove it because it's made from glass. Ooh, nasty scraping sound. It was. Alright, okay, it slides off. Oh wait, hold on, let me... Where is the... Remove front panel to access the access box. Okay, let me remove the front panel. Are you supposed to just pull on the front panel really hard to take it off? Because I don't... I don't want to do... Oh, damn, that's all you have to do? Just pull on the front panel really hard? Damn, I don't even want to do that, though. That's kind of... Alright, here's the accessory box, finally. Whew. There might be a manual in there. Ugh. In. 
Okay. Let's put the front panel back on. We should... Damn it, I forgot which one was... I forgot which one was that. I forgot how it was... Are they both the same? No, they're not. Uh-oh. I don't remember. Well, I'll just put it in this way and see how it works. Hopefully it, was, hopefully it was the right way. I'll check the video later and see if it was actually this way. Get in there, you little... Okay, front panel's back in. We're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna start putting the motherboard and stuff inside. Okay, so inside the accessory box was a bunch of screws that we're going to need, some zip ties. Oh, and the instructions for the case are... You have to open the case before you look at the instructions. Oh, okay, so I was right. That button in the front was just R RGB controls. I didn't even know that this thing had RGB when I got it. So I don't really care about RGB that much. We're gonna need some of these screws for the motherboard so I'm just gonna take... Wow, they are not... They're not organized, so all the screws are in... The same exact bag, even if they're not the same size. I guess this is what you get when you pay for one of the cheaper cases. It should be fine. I should be able to figure out which one those are. Okay. Now let's see if the motherboard standoffs are pre-installed. I'm not sure. Let me read the menu. Okay, so I need to install some some nine motherboard screws before I put in the motherboard. Uh, it's just, let me pretty figure out, hopefully I use the right ones. Just, so I wish I had some sort of container to put these in. I'm just gonna, uh, let me go get something. I just put out all the screws in the accessory box. Now let me just figure out which ones I need. Uh -huh. Yeah, they kind of look very similar. Some of them might be exactly the same size, even if they're not used for the same thing. Okay. Is it is it this one? I don't. Not so. Oh wait. Things aren't really what they seem around here. I almost forgot. Before you put in the motherboard, you should put in the IO shield. The Imperial Order shield. No, it's the input output shield. Ooh, I like this Iowa shield because it's like soft and a little bit mushy on the back. That's nice. I like that. So is a cat. Hey. Shields just go in here. Some people cut themselves on this thing um, by accident. That has never happened to me out of all three of my builds so far. And I don't think it will ever happen unless I try to do this while I'm drunk or something. You don't drink. Yeah, which is why it'll probably never happen. Well, we should get some of that twisted tea. That's good. So we. So 
Okay. Seems like the iron shield is in mostly. Mm -hmm. Just okay. Now the shield is in. Okay, now we can go put the motherboard in. When you put the motherboard in, you have to make sure... You have to make sure all the things line up. Like, see how these USB ports are lined up. The HDMI is lined up. Display ports lined up. Everything is lined up. That's kind of like an indicator of how and if they're not in then you know uh, you might have installed your house shield not that correctly or not all the way in and now we could finally put in the screws yes okay so this should be screws for the motherboard. I need how many of them do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Okay, because there's only eight holes in my motherboard. I'm gonna start with that hole. Come on, go in there, go in the hole. Screws are not wanting to go into holes today. Okay, just screw that in. That's the first one in. Now I just do the same thing for all the other holes. Uh, that screw doesn't feel like going in, so we're just not going to put it in. Alright, that's enough. I'm missing one screw is not That's not enough. If the motherboard stays in place, then it's enough. Okay, now the only part we have to do is putting in the power supply and then connecting all the cables. So the last part, or almost the last part, is putting in the power supply and then connecting the cables. We also have to connect... Oh, okay, we're just, well, I'll talk about the next part later. Ooh, all right, here's, here's the power supply. Oh, look, a manual. Oh, that's nice. I love manuals. No, not really. I don't really love manuals. Hey, look, it's one of the do not eat things, and it has stuff written in it in Japanese and kanji, Jap and Chinese, and English, and, and maybe even French. Huh? That's, that's a lot of languages right there. Hey, let me just get this out of the box. Ariyaki. So this is a non-modular power supply. That means all of the cables are connected. You just got Ariyaki on your channel. <laughs> oh, new power supply. Oh, yes, new power supply. Let's smell it. Don't smell shit. Oh, new power supply. Oh, this is probably going to give me cancer. Oh, you're nasty. All right. No, it's just... This guy likes the smell of poison or something. 
No, I love the smell of computer stuff. Poison. Okay, let's try to just uh, take out the stuff be, that we need. Be, 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 be. I mean, the cables are only wrapped together with a single twist tie, so it's kind of, kind of difficult. It's, it's going to be... Tie. It's called a twist tie, you know? Oh. You know what a twist tie is? No. <laughs> okay, so this is like the main power okay. connector. It's going to go into... Well, you'll see where it goes into. I don't feel like uh, moving it right now because I'm tired. Okay, where is... I think we only need to use two of these because we don't... We just need to power the CPU and the motherboard. We don't really have... We need a lot of things. Do we, do we have anything else we need to connect it to? I don't think we do. The TV. We only need two of these cables. Okay. You gotta connect it to the TV. So we need this one, and where's where's the one that goes to? And we need the CPU one for the CPU, and everything else I think we don't need. So we're just gonna take the other cables and kind of, I guess, put the twist tie back on them. Kind of just keep them under wraps for now. Maybe we'll need them in the future, maybe not, I don't know. You stop beeping in general. I don't beep that much. Yeah, you do. Beep. You do a lot of nonsense. Alright. Here comes my Shaolin style. God, it's hot. I'm getting dehydrated out of here. See, I think that's I'm what to... happens when you choose the wrong area of choice. I'm going to have to go rehydrate myself. Don't do that. Supply now. Let's not. Uh, this way. Yeah, sure. I'll put it in this way. Let's put it in that way. Put it that way. Oh boy, it's gonna be a tight fit, man. Really tight fit. Okay. Ooh, these cables. They're not. Keep summoning more shit. Oh my god, it's gonna be so tight. This might be a the hardest part is probably just making sure the, that the cables are in and connected to where they need to connect to. <laughs> okay. You're into the one for always got Where's my where's the box company? The box shall not be made. Here. Which one are the power supply screws? Okay, there's only four of them. So I should be able to. Put a chain to the thing. This one, this one. This one. Okay. Introducing the ghost face killer. So these are the power supply screws that came with the case. Close range, I just call for names. Devolving missiles. God, it's... <laughs> what? Nothing, don't worry about it. Want to change of the game? Oh, it's hard to get them to line up because the wires keep moving because there's not really space for them in the tiny power shroud. Frick. Okay, I guess I can't do that one first. Let me do this one.
Hey. Power supply is in. There's actually some good stuff in this case for uh, cable management. They have like Falco scraps and it's stuff. Really I'm not used to this because most of the stuff I used never really had that. This music is not very good. Okay. Okay. This CPU power cable. I will route it through here. All right? Yes. There we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> you can make some little bit slightly uncomfortable <laughs> twist. Let's look at the timestamps. Okay, that cable has been plugged in. Now let's get the main power cable. I'm gonna route it through here. There we go. Okay, and then... Uh... Okay. There we go, it should be connected. I don't think it's all the way in, in though, so I'm gonna have to push it a little bit. Okay. What do we do? No, I have to reconnect CPU fan, maybe install some more fans in the front. We should install some more fans in this room. Then I have to... <laughs> you can't the front... Now the wires that connect, like these, they connect the motherboard to the buttons on the front panel. Like these buttons and these ports and stuff. What if we got the okay, so I think for this case, the front panel connectors are relatively simple because there's only three things. Since I don't think any of the buttons on the front panel light up and there's no reset switch, so the only thing we need is to put in this for the audio and then this for the power switch and this for... I think this covers the two USB 3 ports in the front. So it shouldn't be that long for me to do this. Okay. Just put like the... The headers are so goddamn small that I might have a hard time just putting them in. Let's see. Just one power share. Connect the power button. All right. That's most of the front panel stuff done. I might do some of it off. Screen. You know why they need takes the Nord VPN? Okay, well, <laughs> the case only came with uh, one fan in the back, so I think I'm I'm just gonna put two fans in the front that I had left over from my first build. I was so young and innocent during my first build, but I, I'm not sure how much it will help because the front panel is it's almost entirely solid. It's it's like it's just the top and, and the bottom. But I'm just gonna put them in anyways, because why not? The IRS is ruthless. The IRS is ruthless. You should be very afraid of the IRS. I am I am terrified of the IRS. Just eat them. What do you mean just eat them? You can't eat them. Just just delete just delete an economy. Go to the jungle. I have to make sure I install it in a way that these uh, cables, oh, red and yellow, those don't really go with the rest of the build, but uh, it's fine. Some of the cables are also red and orange and all sorts of stuff anyways. <sighs> Pointy void if removed. Yeah, I'm going to remove it. 
I don't need no weird warranty stickers on my fan cables. It's weird. Okay, I'm done installing the two fans in the front. Uh, and I, I connect, oh look at that red and yellow, that's eh, fine. I connected them to the fan headers, connected the back one to a fan header. And then it turns out there was one front panel connector that was missing that I didn't put it, so I put it in right now. Or at least I put it in when I wasn't recording. And then, uh, I put in the power switch uh, connector wrong. So I just took it out and then flipped it and put it uh, on top where it was supposed to go. Uh, and then, in the back I uh, did some stuff. I actually managed to put the cables from the power supply into the case. But there was so little room that I had to remove... <laughs> I had to remove one of the drive trays. Like you see, there's only one now, before there was two. I had to remove the bottom one so I could put the cables in. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't think I'm going to use a, like a, a hard drive for this. So it would be all good. Okay, now let's see. Mm. <laughs> now I'm just going to put all the panels back on. And then but someday... Like maybe tomorrow or something. I'll see if it boots. <laughs> or not. I don't know why that's weird, because adults stab each other for food, like, pretty frequently. Like, um, like the people stabbing them, stabbing other people for, uh, <laughs> Dude, you, dude, dude, the intro to this is fucking hilarious. Gabe, I gave you the money and you don't give me one. That kid's a little bit, that kid's a little bit too fat, he don't need no pizza. <laughs> no, you seen the weight on the skin. <laughs> he don't need no pizza no more, he, he need to no. go on diet. He need to go on diet. Mm. Dude. That kid's fatter than me, how you be fatter than me as a kid? I, I gave you. Yes. <laughs> Adults kill each other over food all the time. I mean, no, they don't. Yeah, they do. Did you, when, when that Popeye's chicken sandwich came out, people killed each other for that. So I don't understand why. It's a, it's a pretty like. Here comes my Shaolin style. It's not like it's something that doesn't happen because it totally happens. People killing each other for food, especially in the I, countries <laughs> where food is hard to get. Right. This panel is pretty much... God damn, I wish we had some air conditioning. <sighs> okay. Front panel go back on now? Right? Okay. Yeah, just push it in. It's really weird. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. It's very strange to me. Come on. Okay, should we all pushed in? Good. Ah, now, tempered glass panel. The only thing left to do is plug it in and see if it boots, which it probably will, because because I I definitely know what I'm doing and I'm I didn't make a single mistake for this entire build. Yeah. <sighs> oh well then. 
Get in there, you little. <sighs> Let's go down a bit. Wow, it took a while to stabilize. It's done. Should I peel off the plastic part? Oh, you could see my naked body in the reflection. Damn. Okay, that's, that's fine. Just don't be a pervert about it. I'll zoom out a bit. Some weird people like watching someone peel stuff off. There you go. You, for some reason, you care about that. Just, you got to see that. And let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think you can see the peel pretty good. I just put this on top. Maybe you can see a little bit more. It's fine. It's good. 